Hello to you all and thank you for the opportunity to speak with you about the vital science that supports and informs seafood nutrition. I want to thank the Seafood Nutrition Partnership for hosting this event and also give a special welcome to the many Alaskans who have traveled here today. I never get tired of highlighting that the United States and Alaska in particular have some of the best managed fisheries in the world. Alaska's seafood producers sustainably catch and process enough seafood each year to feed everybody in the world a single serving, with much more to go around. And thanks to the work of nutrition scientists, some of whom are here today, I met a couple of you, of you uh, just this week, we know that regular seafood consumption can lower risks for heart disease, dementia, and arthritis. We also know that consumption of seafood by pregnant women supports fetal brain and eye development. It's been described as, as food for the neck up, uh, but I was reminded the other night that it's also food for the heart. Food for the heart, food for the head, food for the brain. We've made progress in educating Americans about the benefits of seafood as a healthy protein and a great source of omega-3s. Salmon, for example, has rightfully earned a reputation as a superfood. But still, only 10% of Americans are following federal advice to eat seafood at least twice a week. So there's room for improvement here. I want to thank you all for your efforts to increase our nation's seafood consumption and know that I remain committed to doing my part in the Senate as well. In our second funding package for FY19, which passed the Senate, I added an amendment to ensure that the federal government is using the best nutritional science to support its seafood consumption advice for pregnant and nursing women. This funding bill also continues the ban on import of genetically engineered salmon until labeling guidelines have been set by the FDA. So before any GE salmon is allowed into the country, the FDA must evaluate whether its current process for approving these products is even adequate in the first place. We must ensure that GE salmon products are subject to rigorous scientific scrutiny before they can be made available to consumers. Of course, we're still working on getting more fish into school lunches and WIC food baskets increasing our focus on promoting the health benefits of seafood and working with the administration to strengthen markets for our products so that we can address the seafood trade deficit. The Trump administration has identified aquaculture as a priority for closing the nation's seafood trade gap. I think it's going to be critical that policymakers have the best scientific information available to them as they work with our coastal communities to determine where aquaculture should and should not occur. Know that Alaskans will be following that process very closely. I want to thank you again for the work that you do to put healthy, sustainable seafood on the American table. Know that you've got my support. Thank you. Take care.